hard we need it. We'll call it a special meeting to order at 6.35. Please rise and pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll, please.
and, and we do, just, just so you know, that we do have people that are, that are here every Saturday. So if anything were to come in late, we would be able to take care of that Saturday by noon. All of our supervisors and our managers are not going to call until 1 o'clock on Saturday, as, as, as is I. And other than that, that's the only one that we see that we have some concern with. And what, what is the village's expectation in the number of complaints that come in on, on any given service day? From a legal standpoint, we can put in whatever language makes sense. What we're trying to do here for the village is, you know, this is a small village. Mm -hmm. And if you get 8, 10, 12, 14 people starting to complain about service, that's a large portion of the village, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we're trying to protect the, the residents of this village uh, from, from mounting, you know, uh, Garbage. Now I see that the way mine is written, anyways, it received, and we have we've not agreed on a number yet how many complaints those are that would lead to that. Correct. Okay, that's one thing. I have no problem putting in either the word credible complaints or verified complaints. I don't think that's unfair. Okay. No, I would agree. Uh, because in this day and age of Facebook and whatever, anybody can complain. Sure. So and, true. And I, I believe me, some of it has no merit. Uh, I have no problem with that. I think that's fair to everybody. But, you know, the, if anybody else has any other ideas, I, let me tell you this. We didn't put it in there as an attempt to, to shaft GFL. Uh, we don't work that way. But we do have to protect our duty. And your lawyer in Toronto, who I think I met, by the way, will expect, you know, understands this. Sure. Um, you know, we'll put in reasonable language that the board approves. Maybe we can agree on that tonight. But we don't need a rising storm either. Now, let me just talk specifically. Seven votes swing elections here. Okay? I mean, I've seen it. And, and if, if we have people not getting their garbage picked up, they're not going to blame you. They're going to blame these folks. Mm -hmm. Well, just so, so you know, that when I was with city management, our, my office was right across the street. I was the district manager. And I had I have a lot of experience here in the village. I, I ran it for a number of years before it was given back over to waste management, who I worked for at two different times. So I do know the village very well. I know your expectations, and there should not be any problems. We're, as a matter of fact, we are. We have the equipment. We have the employees. We are we are ready to start. I don't have a problem personally. I, mean, I don't have any problem with the the, the softening the language, as Mr. Barretta has said, because you know the red that I'm reading is kind of. Uh, <laughs> hey, our jobs represent you. <laughs> <laughs> kind of harsh. I mean, it, it, you know, we could all wake up on one day and say, let's just kick them out. And, you know. Yeah. So just, just so I understand, one of the primary concerns is that that uh, the very last part of the uh, article where it says service is not remedied or to a reasonable satisfaction of the village and the homeowner before 11:59 on the scheduled day of service, it would be the day after to give you a day to do it. Yes. Do you have control of the phone? Well, 11:59 p.m. There would be nobody here. Well, that would be the I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That would be the deadline to have it recommended by. See, but I thought, same day, that's I thought when we awesome. talked, we said by the next service cycle. I think same day is a little bit, even three business days would be a little bit more reasonable in my opinion. You want to keep your garbage for three days or a week? Not a week, but I think the same day, if, if a complaint comes in, let's say somebody gets home at 6 p.m. and finds that their garbage is still there and the complaint comes in and they don't have anybody on staff. Oh, I no, think. the next day is totally reasonable. But it, it doesn't say that, though. I think it's the main thing that we have proposed. Yeah. He's proposing the next day at noon or? Right. If, if, if yeah. a complaint comes in after 3 o'clock. Yeah, the, oh, yeah. the edited uh, same day at midnight. Yeah. And oh, yeah. 7 o'clock at night. Work. Yeah. 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 And usually we get them first thing in the morning when we come in. Yes. We don't like to yeah. let it work sure. because people don't want to wait. They want to get it picked up. We right. understand that. What is our service date going to be? Friday. Uh, so you, you have staff on Friday on Saturday? Yes. 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 
I just think we have to be fair and reasonable too, personally. But uh, we, we want to, we'll, we'll work very closely with you. You'll see, we're not that kind of company. Don and I are, honestly, right, Don, we, we'll give you all our cards. Anything that comes up, you call us. Um, our supervisor should be checking in at the end of the day. They, sh they should check in every Friday. Yes. And, and we'll, with someone, whoever you want. Uh, we will. Our, our, our point of contact in the office is uh, Melissa. Okay. And, uh, and she will need your route manager's number because she receives the complaints. And then she'll forward okay. on to the. We, we will bring him in the first Friday and inter introduce him to everybody okay. in the office. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. He has a cell phone, he has his tablet with them all. Sure. Right. And so when the route's completed at the completion of the of service day, which is Friday, um, he should check in with Melissa. And anything that she gets in prior to, now, the, our expectation of getting done, Don, what would you say? Because uh, you've, you've done this um, community before. We, we, we probably will be out of here most of the time by 3, 4 o'clock. That's right, right. thank you. Yeah. We like to put it, ad additional equipment out and get everybody off the road for the weekend. So you might have some late sets, let's call it like it is, where people, oh, we, I didn't, they didn't pick me up, and it's set out late, you know. So uh, by three o'clock, let's just use that time frame. Uh, generally, uh, will it, it will be completed, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. And so if it comes in at four or five, believe me, we'll be there the next day. But sometimes that does happen. Sure, sure, that's. You know, that's reasonable. You know, I I see some complaints in my own uh, subdivision. I can hear them personally because I'm out walking. You know, they didn't pick up my yard waste. Well, your yard waste went out at 10 a.m. Right. The yard waste truck comes through about 7:30. <laughs> right, the night before. Always, we try to reiterate okay. that the night. So either get up early and put your yard waste out. Exactly. Or, or they'll come home. Cut their lawn and just oh they didn't pick up my my yard. So we've heard pretty much every scenario. But to be fair, we will honestly work very closely with you, right, Don? And so and just to clarify, you do have trucks running Saturday to yes. take care of a missed pickup. Yes. Any other but according to this contract, if that doesn't happen, is everyone willing to? Because according to the contract, we're going to discontinue their service the next month. Well, according to the contract, we have the right to discontinue. It doesn't mean we're automatically going to discontinue. I don't think any of us here are, are you know, we're fair too. You know, but we, we do owe it to our neighbors to make sure that they're getting the best possible service, especially if we're, you know, changing contracts. You know, waste management hasn't been very good to us. They're right back out if we need something. And I mean, you know our concerns. There was a whole committee put together for it. That's right. Um, you know, so that that's I, I I can see where our concern is, you know, but we we're all we're all fair. And I don't think we're gonna just immediately cancel the contract simply because five houses didn't get picked up. But we do have an expectation that you will work with us and our and our residents and make it right. Definitely. Yeah. One of the jobs of our supervisor is to cover all the streets when they're done to make sure that there isn't anything lame. But it does does it does it happen occasionally? Yes it does. Mm -hmm. But that's oh, I understand those. Yeah, he has a pickup, and really and truly, he can put it in the back of his truck. You know, if it's just one or two or whatever. Sometimes, sometimes things happen. I don't know, but that's the purpose of them having a pickup truck, too, right? Okay. So, in regards to that clothing, uh, do we are we looking to soften the language? Well, here's what I would suggest, and, and, and you can do this right here. We can retype it right here, but the language would read that it would be credible and factually supported complaints. We should agree on, on a number. Um, whether it's 20, 10, I, I, I don't know. Uh, the board would have to suggest to me, because you can see right there where we got the, this number put in <laughs> without a number. And that well, number one, I changed it to credibly and factually supported uh, complaints. Then to agree on the number of complaints, and then uh, I would I think that they're offered uh, uh, time lapse to correct it is more than reasonable. Yeah. With those three, well, two changes and one addition, what are the number that triggers this? I think would be a very fair. Fair. Do you agree? 
Yeah, I, I agree. I guess if we, if you're going to make those changes and, and it's approved, then um, if you were to get the contract over to us tomorrow, we could probably get that signed and back early next week. So if the board were to make a motion allowing us to change the contract to say that. Uh, How are we changing the language in the home? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it's not limited to the reasonable satisfaction of the village and the homeowner before 11 p.m., which is unreasonable. On the scheduled date of service, how are we changing that? To, to I, as I get it, if it's following day. noon, was it noon the following day or 2 o'clock the following day? We get now, if the call comes in uh, yeah, prior to 2 o'clock, it will be serviced the same day. If it comes in after 2, it will be serviced by noon the following day. You know, and we should just leave it noon the following day. Yes. 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 Just okay. leave it at that. Because that's reasonable. I mean, that's I think so too. That, that makes more sense. Easier language. Yeah. Okay. It's doing the following day. Okay. Um, got it. Okay. Got it. I can pick it up. You got it. I got it. I did have. I added something. Uh, this afternoon. Might have been this afternoon. Um, that I don't know why the waters here, but twelve A starts out not saying the provisions of paragraph twelve of the contract. Well, the contract and the contract documents together are two different things that they form part of the contract. So I wrote, I wrote notwithstanding any other provisions in the contract documents, comma, the contract, comma, and in particular paragraph 12 of the contract, and the rest is the same. So I want to make sure we're covering all our bases for the village here. Go ahead. I think before we make the motion, we should decide on the number too. We need to know the number. What do you think is reasonable then? 12, 15, 12. We have some streets in the village where there might be five houses, okay. but there might be three houses. Um, so our concern, and I've talked to residents that you've serviced the other communities, other communities that you've serviced. Sure. Uh, the chief complaint that I got was that the entire side of one street won't be picked up. And they were un they had to use an email to contact someone. And I got that from a couple of different people, and they got no response from the email, or they were told they're getting until next week. And I got that from more than one person. So I'm not saying that what they're telling me is the absolute truth, but that was my concern. I was the one that asked for this opt-out. Let me ex explain to you about one side being missed. Because, because of safety concerns and DOT regulations, we are not to zigzag or pull both sides. I understand that, and, and I know. Sometimes we'll load out on one side right. and then have to go dump and come back and pick up the other side. And then people call right away. You know. Oh no, I've had it happen with waste management. Oh, oh yeah. Where I didn't have my garbage picked up at all. But that's one of the reasons that we get that call occasionally. But the truck will come back and pick it up. Well, yeah. Well, like I said, I've talked to enough concerned residents and enough communities to say that when that's the overarching complaint, um, we we want to address that with you. Um, but I think 12 is a fair number because a lot of the streets have more than 12. So don't, I don't want any part, older part of the village excluded from this, where they have six homes, or they have 10 homes. So, I mean, uh, we're gonna lock ourselves down to a number, or lock ourselves down to incidents of a street being missed. You wanna leave it a number? And again, I have total faith in you guys. I mean, you're, you're a big company. I have total faith in your ability to remedy the situation. Thank you. But we have an older part of the community that I want to make sure is covered. Sure. So do you think 12 is a number, a good number? That's up to you. This is something you're proposing. I, I don't I like 12. Really support 12. And 12 or 15 is, is, is reasonable. Okay. Let's do 12. Sean, how's your shorthand? How's your shorthand? Good. I'm good. I'm good. I think I'm we got good. it. I'm good. Okay. Um, what about the car? Uh, there was a matter, if I may, Mr. President, there was a matter brought up about uh, pre-existing uh, carts that exist that are not quite the size that you people require. Uh, it's been uh, it's been related uh, to a member of this board. That you guys are all right with those and won't deny service because of those. Uh, we would like to have something uh, sentence in the contract that acknowledges that. You can put something in there that the. As long as they're owned by the by the homeowner, we'll pick up the six, the 95 and 65 gallon 
trash or recycling carts that are currently out. I think she's checking on the sizes. 90, 94, 5, 64, and 32. Well, the, the 32s are, are, I think that's your standard ordinance, 32 gallon trash containers. I would just prefer it be written in the contract because a lot of us have life changes and you yeah. may move on to different careers and someone else in your place. Well, and then well, the problem comes up every once in a while where a community has an ordinance and it gets mad if we honor the ordinance and then we get our hands slapped. If we're well, you not supposed to pick those up well. Yeah, yes we are. Thank you. So it's 3264 and 95. You get in there. Depending on the manufacturer, it could be 95, could be 96, could be 64, could be 65. And then did you want to have a piece about the proper working order of those large carts? Because you said that. I'm sorry. Do you, do you want to add something in there that the carts have to be in proper working <coughs> order? Because well, that was a. You yeah, said that once they get the cart, they should keep it in, in serviceable condition for us to dump. Okay. So I mean, you they, they are plastic. They are guaranteed for 10 years. I mean, it's sort of like an unrealistic expectation on the carts. But if we damage them and we repair them, we need to make questions and ask them. If we come across one that's damaged, you know, Talking to Ms. Mikowski, usually if, if it's damaged, we'll dump it once and tag it, then dump it twice and tag it, then we won't dump it after that. So, and I can give you, I can send you, email you a copy of our roof sticker, what, what, we, what we usually use for stuff like that. So, would you guys like that added? I mean, I think it was kind of deep into a contract and adding wording that we may not need. Um, that, that's fine. It's oh, they operate it. But I had a question really quick about recycling bin. Can we use what we have now? Or? Yes. yes. Okay. If you have a 65 gallon, I think Waste was giving 65 gallon yeah, parts off, or the little yeah, we have the laundry baskets, yeah. 18 or 24 gallon. Those are still okay? Yeah. Great. Okay. Okay. Thank you. We would prefer the 18 gallons because you don't get as much contamination in them as you do with the 65 gallon parts. And yeah. So you would prefer the cart language not be in the contract? I do not. Okay. I don't think this is so then, if that's is that a valid complaint then? No, because the contract doesn't require us to use carts. Yeah. So we don't want to we don't want to have that language we don't need. But I'm basing this on some of those same complaints that you reviewed, <clears throat> and a common complaint was that they didn't pick up because of the container that it was in. Okay. I think the individual homeowner would be notified about that or would find out once they contacted them. Um, and that would be up to the homeowner to remedy it with the, with the they're not making any re unreasonable requests. So if a homeowner, you know, puts out chicken wire with garbage in no, it, it's not picked up. Specifically speaking about the waste management carts that a number of residents currently have. Is waste management going to pick those up? No, they're purchased. If you have a cart, yeah. you purchase it. So you can you, will you use that? If it says waste management or Rizzo, we do that all. There's still Rizzo cards out there. Exactly. <laughs> so again, yeah. the common complaint was that they didn't pick up the container. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.
you can't. They can pick a moment to cart dipper, and it takes two guys to whistle them in the trunk, and it just doesn't work. And that sometimes happens, and that's where the goose dipper comes in there and says, it's not, it's not the proper container for us to pick up. And it's over 50 pounds, correct? It's 50, yeah, 50 or 60 pounds is usually the limit on containers, okay. except the big carts. Now, the 95-gallon carts, you, you, you can, you know, we'll pick that up 125, 150 pounds, fine. Because those are picked up on, you know, hydraulically. And when we, Thank you. Uh, when we get the word out to the residents, we can let them know that size container is an acceptable use 32 gallon or 60, whatever. 64, 95, or yeah. 95. Yeah. Okay. We can get the word out once we let them know what's going on. And you think it sheds some insight because when you're looking at the complaints, it doesn't say, like, I called and found out that I couldn't use it because it just says I saw the sticker and I'm doing it on it. Yeah. Yeah, Any other comments, concerns? No, for the For the verified complaints, who's going to do the verifying? Most likely me or Marcus. This is, this is why I had problems drafting it in the first place, because you have a copy that says verifying, and I took it out after a while, because I don't know what language to use. So. <coughs> well, obviously, the contractor, however, has a, uh, an idea that just filing a complaint, you get 10 people together or whatever number we agreed on, I think we saw it. Well, if we can, somebody's got to verify it. Uh, otherwise, 12 people with a Facebook page can, can bring a contract down and we don't want them back. So, well, I guess it's up to the village, I hate to put extra duties on anybody, to decide who's going to go out and check it out and see whether it's true or not. Obviously, you're free to go out and check whether it's true or not also, and defend yourselves against these complaints, which I assume in your self-interest, you would be inclined to do. We would do that. Yeah. And, and I hope it is, isn't complaints that come in through social media. No. No, no, no. Formal so complaints. They have come in through or, or yeah. Yeah. Just clear. No, when I said through media complaints. No. <laughs> what I meant was through social media, they can stir the, oh, yeah. the pot to have Absolutely. people send in complaints. And my experience is they don't have to have any element of truth at all once they get people stirred up. Yeah. So, so now we have an issue with coordinating conjunction with the contract, right? The and and the or. The way I drafted it was the village or the contractor. So 10 people come and complain here, but the calls aren't sent to them. So what do you think that's going to do? Yeah, now you got me confused. Yeah. Well, you, you know the contract instruction. I, I wrote complaints to the village or the contractor. Well, I mean. Do we want and? Do we want just one or the other? We want we're concerned about the ones that are falling into this office. Okay. Right. That's all. I mean, those are the only ones that, that, you know what? that I'm concerned about. Yeah, yeah, let's leave it that way. To the village. To the village. You know enough to complain to the village. I'm assuming if you people give complaints, you act on them. Yes. And my, my other assumption would be, and I know that assumptions can be dangerous, that if they got the complaint and didn't act on it, we'd be the next to hear about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's just be how it how that worked in the past. I called them, they didn't answer, now here's my complaint. Yep. So for purposes of enforcement and simplicity, to the village. Okay. Yeah, they, if, if somebody calls us to our customer service center, then a Q-alert is generating goes right to the supervisor. He, he'll, he'll, come, he'll come in on his tablet, and it's his responsibility to check it out. Yeah, yeah and if the complaint goes to GFL and they remedy, remedy it, we never hear about it, so well, in the in the newsletter too. So that's we hear about the better. I would say, um, no, I think that's fair because if it's coming in here, then it's easy to funnel on. Versus if we have a hand order and they go to different places. All right. All right. Let's let's get to that point. If there's no other suggestions, concerns, comments. A motion in order, um, depending upon the language being uh, drafted and added to the contract, the agreed upon language. To approve, approve the contract and allow, allow the president to sign the contract when it arrives. Yeah. That's the motion that needs to be made here. It should take all of a day or so. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I make a motion that we approve the amended GFL contract. Second. 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 
property move and support it that we approve the DFL contract uh, with the necessary amendments. And as soon as we get this back, we will send it up to everybody. Any questions on the motion? Roll, please. Trustee Pymar? Yes. Trustee Coley? Yes. Trustee Ballinger? Yes. Trustee Yes. Trustee Ashton? Yes. President Miller? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. We're looking forward to servicing the goals. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Thank you. Take your first pickup day of October 4th. Coming up. 4th. Third, fourth, fourth. Right. Friday the fourth. Friday the fourth. Okay, on the thirteenth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. And then it's done. Yeah. 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 Just a point, uh, 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 just an FYI, the uh, tower repair is done on schedule. It's actually a little ahead of schedule. Uh, they started doing their interior coating. Um, so the repairs have been made. The coating has been applied on the interior. It has to cure for seven days. After the seven day period, we have two options. Uh, one option is to fill the tower, empty the tower. And then we just have to take, uh, and then we fill it back, and then we just have to take two water samples. The other option is you fill it, it has to sit for five days, then you take your samples. And it's a total different type of sample. So we haven't decided which one. I think we're probably going to go to the field and empty, which would get it back online, but you know, three or four days quicker. But that hasn't been totally decided yet. So, and I know from a pressure standpoint, um, you know, I've been going out to the local gas station taking you know a sponge bath. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, that's true. <laughs> because where I live, the pressure. No. Oh, I have no idea. I'm, 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 I'm 35 feet higher than you are. Okay. Well, my husband does dishes in the morning. It's oh, it's, otherwise, it's, it's terrible. It's like, how long is this in the last? I don't know. Eric, 6 o'clock is really bad. I didn't know my wife spoke like that. <laughs> I've heard, I've heard a lot of people like they couldn't get the shampoo out there. Oh, yeah, it's it's yeah, it's, and and some days worse than others. Yeah. I mean, it's just like oh my god. I think it's peak time. Six, six a.m. is when my husband does dishes. Oh, I can so. imagine six yeah, a.m. better. It's rough. Yeah, yeah. has to be rough. We use our water bottle. Yeah. But you know, they they said our tower then uh, for the age of it, you know, we should it should all last all of us. I saw pictures of it. It looks awesome inside. Yeah. Yeah, I was invited to go up top today, and and I refused. <laughs> I would love to do that. Oh, I, I I wanted to, but my missus was, you know, she 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 thinks I'm such a daredevil that I probably want to string a bungee cord and jump. <laughs> so, but the guy that went up, the guy from Dixon went up, and he's going to send us uh, a panoramic yes. view so that you know, we can be safe to see for forever. Everything. You know, it's day like the day where it's nice and clear. Yeah. On that note, call from the table. Uh, Ways and Means Committee meeting in 15 minutes. And I would ask that uh, if you're not on that committee, that uh, when the meeting is adjourned, that you leave the table, but you don't necessarily have to leave the room. Just don't participate. <laughs> or don't, you know, because there's some information that we're going to share tonight. That, uh, Anybody want to hear? So, a motion in order. Motion to adjourn. Support.